27. Uh, I'm getting a little fuzzy, so if I start making some mistakes, uh, please forgive me, but I'm I, I committed to getting this done, um, and I'll do it. Okay, write each set in the indicated form if you don't. Okay, so we're given a set. Here we're given roster form. We want to put it in set builder form. So it's the numbers, it's the integers um, greater than or equal to negative 2, less than or equal to 2. That's one way to say it. But we got to choose from the list, so uh, there's more than one way to say things. Right? Everything's socially constructed. Uh, x, such that x is an integer, x is greater than 3, no way, or, or less than 3, well, no, it stops. It's got to be between. So here we go. Greater than negative 3, less than 3. The endpoints are not included. So this is really all we got to say, right? Uh, the reason the, the 4 is wrong, certainly that should hopefully be because it's 4 is not included. Neither is 3 or negative 3. Uh, and just simply greater than negative 3 would not work anyway uh, because it stops. It's a set that stops. So it's, it's between negative 3 and 3, but not including the endpoints. So that's got to be that one. Now we're given the set builder um, y such that y is an integer and y is greater than or equal to negative 1. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Uh, we have to look up here. If you need to use dot, dot, dot to indicate a pattern, dot just means continue the pattern, make sure you list at least four elements. Why four? Three usually is enough, but I'll stop complaining and just do it, little crow. Okay, so here we are. And so we start negative 1. Negative 1 is included. There we go. There we go. What's bigger than negative 1? 0, comma, 1, comma, 2. It says make sure to use at least 4. So let's, hey, they asked for 4. Let's give them 5. Why not? Give them 6. Okay, and then we can stop. Whatever you want. Do at least 4, though. Don't do 3. 4, 5, 6, whatever you want. There we go. So we're going to stop recording here and uh, move on to 28.